I'm going to do a video here of a couple of photos uh, that I took on a trip uh, at the start of February. They have this uh, Great American Outdoor Show sponsored by the NRA. Uh, it's a big expo. It's one of the biggest shows on the East Coast, actually. Uh, it's in Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. Uh, I go every year to this. Is that there's a lot of products, a lot of hunting outfitters, uh, fishing outfitters, fishing gear. Uh, also, I stay in a hotel that's right across from the Bass Pro Shop, so I get to go there as well. Uh, this will give you an idea of what it looks like. This is the map layout of the this, the farm show complex where they hold the show. So you can actually see here uh, all the different stuff that they have. This is a shooting hall, shooting sports, archery. Uh, this one is a special events where they do dog training and uh, falconry and different sorts of expos. Uh, boats, outdoor products, hunting outfitters, fishing, outdoor lifestyle, and then more outdoor products in this one. So yeah, you can there's you can see there's kind of a little bit of everything. Uh, it's pretty big. It takes a I mean, you could go spend two days here to see everything pretty easily, but it's a great show. And I hope you enjoy the photos. There's also photos here at the at the back that I took on the trip to Bass Pro Shop. So anybody who hasn't seen inside a Bass Pro Shop, you'll get to know what it's like and how difficult it is to leave without buying something, especially if you're into fishing. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, here we go. Starting off with some giants here. Giant big whitetail. Uh, this is a big North American bison. One of the big taxidermy mounts that they had. Imagine that full mount in the living room. Huge. Oh yeah, the lion attacking the, the, the kudu. This one's for Jason Roberts here. The big old wolves. He might have caught one of those wolves. You never know. Excellent mount. Here's another mount here of the nice grizzly bear and the cougar. Lots of big game mounts here, all sorts of different mounts. Here's some from Africa, the oryx there, the wildebeest, the kudu. Here's where some of your furs might end up, the fur mar the market here. They have all sorts of hats and stuff. This is some interesting taxidermy that they had on the for sale. Jackalope there. There's a nice big gator head. There's the jackalope again. Some pretty cool skulls here. There's a hippo skull in the background there. Some warthog skulls. Oh, here's a big giant Canadian muskie out of Ontario. I think it was 60 pounds. It was a very large fish. This is pretty cool. Here's an outdoor trailer uh, for camping in, like a pop up camper. Uh, except it was real rugged for like four wheeling, going out in the desert and stuff. Here's some big elk. Gotta love big elk. Nothing like it. Here's another big giant whitetail. Look how many points are on that. Another giant whitetail for some of the alpha hunting outfitters. This is a koi wolf that was shot in Pennsylvania. There's the, the paper that goes along with it. Snyder County. It's a big red stag, big royal stag. There's some nice mounts here too, the sheep. Here's some snow removal equipment. The aura goes with the tracks. Side by sides, real popular. Lots of side by sides at this, this show. All different makes and models. Here's another one here, then the Can-Am. There's a four-seater. That thing was awesome. Here's a little smaller one, the two-seater, the little bed on the back. Had some fancy trucks here. It was a Ford truck that was all done up. Of course, a NRA. You have to have some weapons. Got the old AR-15s and some handguns. They had handgun makers for firearms manufacturers from all over the place. Same with the archery they had all sorts of archery guys there there's some people actually shooting uh, they had a big indoor range and they had 3d targets set up and they were shooting uh, like IBO style 3d 
tournament. You see the people here shooting inside. And this is one of the smaller halls that they have where they, they hold the archery event. Here's some of the fishing hall, a Stalwagon Bank, you see that on the Wicked Tuna? It's a wolf fish here and some Mako teeth, Mako shark teeth. Very famous area for fishing. Here's some more fish from Canada again, the, the salmon. Another big red stag here, you see the crowns on it? This one's for Norm here, got the big caribou. Plenty of caribou. Here's another one, Manitoba, the big bear and the whitetail hunts. Ah, the old turkey hunts. Can't beat that. Another big elk here. Look at the wolf guards and that sucker in the brows. Wow. Here's a big black sable from Africa. This is a, a tar from New Zealand. Unusual animal. Like a goat. A warthog, of course, from Africa. And there he is. The old big bull, Alaskan bull moose. Here's some hogs from the south and deer from the south. This is a Spanish ibex, another European animal. And then, of course, the, the mountain goat. Ah, here we go. Here's the trip to Bass Pro Shop. Here's the foyer way into Bass Pro Shop. This is in Harrisburg. It's on the end of the Harrisburg Mall. Look at that walrus mount there. That's pretty cool. I don't see those too often. Here's some all mounts here on the side. There's a hippo and a rhino and a, a sable mixed in with some North America. Uh-oh. This could involve spending money here. The bass fishing boats. Now here's a look at the, some of the array of fishing lures that you can buy at these stores. Cabela's is kind of the same. It's like aisle after aisle after aisle of fishing lures. I mean, every type of lure you can imagine. These are some swim baits and some minnow type swim baits and stuff. But, you know, for guys who haven't been to these some of these stores, these big stores, it's like overwhelming when you go in. It's like they have everything you could possibly imagine. It's just aisle after aisle. I mean, you can see from these photos here, they have every type of bait. These are all crankbaits. There's some more crankbaits. Uh, some live target ones in the front there you can see. There's some uh, spinners and spinner baits and buzz baits. Then they go into chatter baits, uh, some more crank baits there on the side. These are all the this is the jigs, and then they have the fishing rods on the top of the, the aisles. Yeah, to even make it even worse, this is the musky aisle here. They have some big musky swim baits and spinners, and uh, more jerk baits and hard baits, crank baits. And then in the store, then they have uh, some of the taxidermy mounts. Pretty cool, nice caribou, big Pennsylvania black bear right there. He was five to five to six hundred pounds. And then uh, last but not least here, we have the moose, the big bull moose and the elk behind him.